Good morning, I'm Alan Taylor with Tailored Content and it's time for another Friday FinTech Roundup in today's frigid Texas winter. I'm not kidding. We've got snow on the ground, sleep in our eyes, and hot tea in the coffee pot. Well, it was a crazy week for crypto. Both Bitcoin and Ethereum hit new highs. Bitcoin jumped over $52,000 while Ethereum blasted past $1,900. I can't wait to see what happens next. Moneyline and Fusion Acquisition Corporation are merging and expect a combined valuation of $2.9 billion. Crowdfund Insider reports a survey conducted by Oracle and podcaster Farnoosh Torabi reveals that 67% of investors trust robots more than humans to manage their investments. Well, that ruins my plans. Coinbase are preparing to offer staking rewards on Ether upon the rolling out of Ethereum's upgrade, which they're calling Ethereum 2.0. Stakers could earn as much as 7.5% APR on their ETH. Payby, a new challenger bank inspired by Black Lives Matter, is working with banks and other financial institutions to create products for minority-owned businesses and other underserved communities. Oh, and Robinhood just can't seem to get things right. The company was granted an extension for getting 1099s to customers and failed to meet the deadline, which was Tuesday. Some customers are a bit irate. Payment startup Marquita has filed for an IPO. Revolut is rolling out QR codes for payments in 25 countries. Wow, let's keep this social distancing ball rolling. Well, that's it for this week in FinTech. I'm Alan Taylor. Don't forget, send me your FinTech news to alan at tailoredcontent.com. And if you're looking for a content writer for your FinTech brand, I'm your man. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and share me with your friends. See you next week.